Hello and welcome to this video. We're actually going to do a follow-up in this video of a recent video, so please do go and check that out, of the Zettel system. Now, the Zettel system is basically a way where you as a business can take card payments efficiently, and with the best part of all, it connects directly into QuickBooks Online. So every time you make a payment on here, it appears in QuickBooks absolutely seamlessly. And that is something that we really, really like here at Boffix. You see, here at Boffix, we have a lot of clients who are utilizing this technology. Because think about the flexibility. They've got this device, they go and take card payments. They could be a consultant, they could be a butcher, they could be a plumber. Doesn't matter what type of client there is, having the ability to take card payments is always going to be really, really useful to them. And being part of the Zettel system, and being part of the PayPal family means that there's lots of extra benefits that go with it, including the ability that you can actually accept PayPal payments through a fancy little part of the app, which we'll have a look into. Now, all this technology works really, really well. And again, we have a lot of clients who are utilizing this, but there are a few things that can be quite problematic with it. So let's have a look at what could go wrong. So as you can see here, this device by itself doesn't do anything other than take the card payment. What you need to have with it is a device like a phone or an iPad. Now, both of the scenario solutions we've got here work really well. It means that you can take payments while mobile. This device here is a cellular connection. So that means it can always connect at all points. I don't need to connect to Wi-Fi or anything. It's got its own mobile internet, just like your mobile phone has, which means it doesn't matter where I am, I can continue to take payments. But the problem can be that because they're two separate devices, sometimes there's issues. Maybe this hasn't run out of battery, as let's see here. Or maybe, in fact, it's really, really low on battery, as you can see there, so it's almost going to die on me. So I've got a real quick way of going in and trying to make a payment. So here I am, I'm trying to make the payment, press add, press card, make sure I'm happy with it, press card on the device, and error message. And that's the sort of thing that uh, when this solution works perfectly, it's an absolute dream. But every now and again, you can come across problems like this. Now, Zettel saw these issues and they're very small issues. And to be honest, most of our clients, they actually don't have these problems whatsoever, but they have these issues here. And to solve that, they produced a brand new product. And that product today is what we're gonna have a look at. So first thing that came in the box when I ordered this new product was, drum roll please, a USB charger. So you can see that it says branded Zettel, but all this is is a power brick, giving me an opportunity to charge by USB-C. We like USB-C, so that's good to see. So what is the actual technology behind it? Well, it's this bad boy. So basically what they tried to do was go, right, a mobile phone's really useful, the iZettel payment solution's really useful, let's merge them together. And that's where they came up with this idea here. So this is the new Zettel terminal, as they're calling it, Zettel terminal there. And I've even opted for the barcode scanner option just here. And as you can see, it gives you the opportunity to make all the payments you were used to. So Apple Pay is concluded, G Pay, you've got Visa, American Express. And the whole idea is it's an all-in-one terminal. And it reads here, sell from the palm of your hand, use mobile data or Wi-Fi to make, sure make card and contactless payments wherever you are, save time and stay organized, add inventory easily and check out quickly with a built-in barcode scanner. So that should be really useful. And make better business decisions, effortlessly track staff, stock and sales to make better decisions throughout the day. And I, for one, cannot be more excited about this solution. So again, the idea of this is that we're taking the best of both worlds. We've got that mobile element of it and we got through from there. And what we're going to be able to do now, if I can get into this, is we can see exactly how this solution works. And we have a nice little box that we can open up and reveal a Zettel sign. Ooh. All right, so they've really gone to town with the packaging here. It looks really, really nice. So we get a, first of all, we get a get started guide. Let's have a go of what we've got through here. Let's get some stickers here. This is really actually more useful than you think. You stick that on anywhere in your shop or wherever you are, and that just gives people confidence they can pay by card. Uh, there's that little terminal itself. So it's saying that welcome to your new device. It tells you how to power on, how the charging port is, and where the barcode scanner sits. 
where the SIM card drawer is and where your contactless reader and card slot elements are. The nice thing here is it includes the SIM card as um, an opportunity for you to always have mobile data on there. And here we are, this is what we've been looking forward to. Oh, so straight away, this has a nice bit of heft to it. Quite like that, quite like that um, heft to it. It's built really, really strong. And if that's something you're gonna be carrying around with you, I think you've got no problem with it breaking. I really think that's a, a nice one. Now, you'll notice at the bottom here, it's got an opportunity for you to connect to a stand. And I didn't get it with this particular model, but there is a stand out there that has a built-in receipt um, printer as well. So that should be cool. I've also got here a USB-C to USB-C cable. Plug into the top up there like that, plug the other end, and that's how you charge it. But again, that cradle idea would probably be suitable for most people. All right, let's do the peel away test. Very nice. Um, and let's look at what else we've got here. So as you can see, there's the SIM card tray just there. So by using any old SIM card ejector, I can go in and in theory, you'll see that, yep. So obviously you can put your own in if you want to kind of have more control over it, but they already provide you a, um, a SIM card connector that they're saying is free of charge as well. So that's fantastic to use. While I've got it out there and before I turn it on as well, if I just get the old cradle, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work, but just to prove anything, yeah, the connector's in the wrong place anyway, but there's no way you can reuse your old one um, going forward, which slight, slight shame, but with the added functionality that they're bringing in with this new one, I'm more than happy with that. Um, and again, comment below, let us know if you want to see the um, adapter go with it. So at the bottom here is for the card payment. So bring the card in. Now, I tend to start using this more often these days because this card here is much, 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 much thicker. This is uh, a card by Revolut. And this kind of, and, and we've had reports where it's not fitted in other card readers, but can it go in? Yeah, it goes in perfectly there, so that's wonderful. As I said on the kind of instructions, you've got your NFC reader at the top. And apart from that, that's all that there is. So that is great to see. And looks like maybe a little speaker there for us. All right, let's turn the device on. That's what we're all waiting for. Straight away, just so you know, I got some haptic feedback there. So that's quite nice to see. So as you can see, the little Zettel signs popping up by PayPal. Zettel terminal, as it's showing us there. There we go, brilliant. All right, welcome to Zettel. Let's take care of business, getting started. So you get to pick your language. There's multiple languages available here, where your country is, that sounds good to me. Um, you do have the option to add a Wi-Fi network or it would use the, um, the built-in SIM card. For completeness and just so we get the best experience out of it, I am gonna put my Wi-Fi in. So here it is trying to connect to my Wi-Fi. All right, now it's asking me to choose a password. So that's to unlock the thing. So I'm just gonna do 2302, very important date that one and 2302. Now it's setting up my terminal. So it's obviously connected to the Wi-Fi pretty well, which is good to see. While it's doing that, let's talk about what the benefits of this is gonna be. So obviously having those devices together or separately always gave you opportunities or problems when they weren't connecting properly. And the thing about buying and selling or selling to a customer is you need it as frictionless as possible. So having this not being charged or not wanting to connect to your device or anything like that can be really, really problematic. And that's where having it all in one device should get rid of some of those failures of problems and should give you no problems whatsoever. We've also had clients where maybe the Wi-Fi wi might be a bit flaky and they don't have a cellular option for their iPad or their phone or whatever it's gonna be. And having it all in one device with a SIM card in will just solve all those issues completely. Okay, all set. Now let's take a tour of your, and get to know your terminal. So let's take the tour. So it says, welcome to Zettel. Your terminal is ready to go. Right out of the box, here's a few things you can do. Uh, it takes about 90 minutes for a full charge when you use the power adapter included. So keep that in mind. Again, I do recommend by looks at even now, like just looking at what it is, I do think that that, that cradle is gonna be the way forward. Uh, take contactless payment, so it's literally using the top of the screen just like that to get them in and going. And accept chip and pin, again, using that ability at the bottom to flow that in there, and that's how you would take your chip and pin as well. What I do like about this, which where some of the competitors fall short on, like Square for example, is the fact that you're not asking your 
your customer to put the PIN number into a secondary device. You're handing them the same device that they're then putting their card into. On the Square solution, with that puck being separate, it always was felt a bit weird when you had to do your PIN number and you were giving them a separate device to what they put their card into. Um, use mobile data or Wi-Fi. We've included a SIM card so you can move around freely and use mobile data if the Wi-Fi goes down. And find your home screen as a flip up. Uh, go back, you can use by swiping towards the middle on the left or right. So either of these is the, is the gesture for going back. And there's your home screen. Let's go visit that. So straight away, I mean, it's definitely looking like a bit of an Android experience here, isn't it? And it should be very comfortable for anyone who's used a mobile phone. It's looking straight away just like you want, but in a nice Zettel branding. Um, so let's kind of examples of what we've got. So I'm going to go straight into the Zettel app. So Zettel by PayPal. And I wonder if this is going to be exactly the same experience as what we would have on a mobile phone. So far, looking exactly like that, just to prove it. So I was put here, that's kind of looking very similar, isn't it, in terms of it. So let's make sure we've got our um, device set to the right one. So United Kingdom, and let's log in and log in. Now, one of the advantages this one does have for me is that because it's all connected to my accounts and stuff, then it does give me the option to um, remember my accounts. Whereas this one, I'm going to have to go in and go from scratch, basically. So give me two seconds to put this in. OK, so by the looks of it, on both experiences, it's looking like we're getting the same kind of pages. Um, so fresh, so clean. Improve low stock alerts, quick switch counts and print order numbers. Oh, that's useful. So that's definitely a new feature that's come through. Again, that's where that having the ability to have a printer might be really, really useful and introducing partial refunds. On the mobile app, and that's because I've already kind of gone through this, the big thing they're pushing at the moment is this PayPal app. So if your client already has the PayPal app installed on the phone, then basically you can accept payments via um, going from there. And they're going through the same sort of idea from here. So that's brilliant. But by looks of it, if we both come out of it, yeah, we're getting the same experience there, aren't we? We've both been presented with our product. So if I want to click and confirm how much I want to pay, I'm going to do 85p, <laughs> press add. Um, and on this one again, 85p, press add. Very similar, both from up here, look. So I can go to both of them and I can say, right, let's charge 85p. Again, I can choose cash or card, so I still get them options even though I'm using this terminal. Um, but if I wanted to, I assume I can just press card. Oh, it has to be more than a pound. Charge one pound 70, press card. Again, tap or insert card. You get a nice little haptic feedback, nice little processing screen. And I've just had confirmation that it's come on my watch so that payment's come through. So that's definitely worked, so that's wonderful. We get the same options, print, email, text message. If we get no receipt, then no receipt gets done. And just so we're all aware as well, if I was just put a pound in, let's make sure this is working. Charge, you can also accept uh, Apple Pay and everything else. So here's my Apple Pay coming through. I put it against the system, processing, same print, and again, I've got an, a text message to come through saying that's ham. So again, no receipt on that one. So the actual taking of payments looks exactly the same. And so that should be very, very familiar to anyone who is already using it. Other functionality that I've got here is when I go to inventory though, and go to product library and go to there, I have the option now to use my barcode scanner. So that's definitely something I want to start um, utilizing. Um, I've got assigned category, inventory tracking, I can turn on um, how much I've got in stock, add to folder, press plus. And I should also get the opportunity to, if I was actually to add a brand new one, add a product, I can assign category. I can, ah, here we go, it's there, look, barcode, just there. So I can put the number in there, I can see what the barcode is. Settings wise, it seems like you're getting exactly the same sort of setting as before. Um, you can go and see what payment types, cash, gift card, PayPal. You can say always print receipt or not. Hardware wise, you can say that you can see what firmware you've got. Uh, receipt printers, cash drawer, you can add them. We've, we've 
got some of them we can showcase with it working as well so we can make that looking through there but this is our first look at this system and what do you guys think i mean personally i'm i'm really liking this so again i can go back home i can look at my updates um is up to date so that's great to hear i can look at my settings uh, accessibility wise you've got display size font size magnification security got network and on general you can put kind of your preferences date time and everything else and then tips you can look at some tips oh so it definitely does have the bar count right i do need to try all that out for you guys that one as well um and how there and zettel printer and dock user guide just here so this is kind of looking at the printer dock and how that works um but it could be something here it is there it is so it looks like there's a dock there with the printer on the back load paper charge easily yeah i do think that's definitely something we need to have a look at in more detail so there we have it instead of taking around this with you and this or this or this then consider just taking this with you i'm going to be doing some more work on this probably over on the other channel aaron patrick the quickbooks chap so do have a look at, at that one as well come over to that channel and we'll see it in a bit more detail um, or catch the video before this where we look at iZetto and how it connects to QuickBooks itself. And there we have it. There is a first look at the new iZetto terminal, which I think is going to be a very, very good investment for a lot of people. Price wise, I paid 150 UK pounds for this, which I think is a very, very good deal, especially given that if my Wi-Fi was to go down now or if I left a Wi-Fi area, I can still take payment for everything that I'm doing as well. Uh, one device I just need to keep charged. As long as I've got it charged, I then have everything I need to be able to take payment on the go. It was quick, it was simple, and I think coupled with a few of those extra accessories, you could be on to an absolute winner. Um, iZetto as well, with it being cloud-based, means that you get the access of being able to update prices on the fly. You could still have your old iPad solution and your, you know, your, your current one that's all set up this would just complement that quite nicely especially to people who are walking around maybe a cafe or a restaurant area they can take orders while they're on the uh, while they're mobile things like that i think mean, that's where this could be quite useful so yeah we're going to have be doing a lot more research into this and looking into this so stay subscribed stay tuned to both channels both the aaron patrick quickbooks chap and the boffix channel that you're currently on let me know below any comments, questions you want me to go into, any any bits you want me to check out for you, then let us know in the comments below. But my name's been Alan Patrick. Hopefully you can see that this is a solution that definitely makes sure that small businesses don't just survive, but thrive. And just look at how useful that could be. And my name's been Alan Patrick. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.